Tonight, state lawmakers are demanding answers after reports of a federal investigation into whether migrant children were released to the wrong people and forced to work on Oregon farms. Our Joelle Jones has the story. These kids come across the border seeking a better life only to get sold into a trafficking situation. That's, that's incredulous and, and horrible. Oregon Congressman Kurt Schrader is one of many representatives now calling for transparency. This follows a Bloomberg report which claims federal law enforcement is looking into whether children that should have been protected by the U.S. government were released to labor traffickers. The report contains emails describing dozens of teens between the ages of 13 and 17 being released to Woodburn, Oregon and Enterprise, Alabama, sometimes to the same sponsor. Oh, very frustrating, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty uh, amazing this to be happening in my own backyard and not getting any intelligence, if you will, from the Department of Justice or anybody else. The probe comes as the U.S. faces a record 90,000 encounters with unaccompanied minors at the border. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, tasked with finding suitable placements for unaccompanied migrant children, reportedly released over 75,000 unaccompanied children to sponsors from October of 2020 to July of 2021. Coin6 was able to confirm an investigation regarding the federal foster care system caused the agency to pause placing unaccompanied migrant children in the Woodburn area. An HHS spokesperson said, the safety of children in HHS custody is of the utmost priority for our agency. If we become aware of allegations that unaccompanied children are being trafficked, we will notify the proper state and federal authorities. We need to stop this now. We got to put some safety measures in place. Uh, Make sure that when we're releasing these children to sponsors, that they truly are sponsors, and these folks are vetted out so that these kids are not at risk. Congressman Schrader tells Coin 6 News, despite their inquiries, he and his constituents have not yet been briefed on this matter. Reporting for Coin 6 News, I'm Joelle Jones. Coin 6 reached out to the FBI, ICE, and the Department of Justice regarding the alleged investigation. None of those agencies agreed to comment. Congressman Schrader and others urge anyone with information to contact law enforcement. For more details, you can read more about this story. Just go to coin.com.